Hi guys, it's Blackie with Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Okay, now we're going to talk about how to speak land nav, or more correctly, how to create map coordinates. Now, what this is is a language. It allows us to communicate where you have your map, I have my map, they are the same map, and I'm going to use a system called Military Grid Reference System, like I was taught for the military. There's also Universal System and a couple others. Make sure that you're talking the same system. There are plenty of videos on YouTube about these individual ones. So if you want more information, please go look those up. But, in a nutshell, what I'm going to do is we're going to speak by a number code to tell where on this map we're looking so that we're both looking at the same place. It's a shorthand, basically, of a series of numbers. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that the surface of the world, like I said earlier, has been divided up into grid squares. So the first set of numbers is going to tell us what grid square on the planet we're talking about. The second sets of numbers, which are two numbers and two numbers, four, is going to tell us what part of the map, the smaller grid square, inside the map we're looking at. And then the last two sets of numbers is going to tell us inside that grid square where we're at. So it's like going this location, this location, this location. Or like saying, I live in New York City, I live on this street, I live in this apartment, uh, this Excuse me, this block, this apartment. Neck, 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 neck. It's kind of like a zip code. Okay? Now, where this is useful is a way of recording information. Now, or passing on the information to someone else. So rather than me sitting there and you've got your map and I've got mine going, okay, you see where this road goes to here? Now look north and look for the little stream. Follow it up. Do you find the little branch? That's very time consuming. It's much faster for me to say, okay, here are the map coordinates. Echo Kilo, 97992126. And you go, there it is. That's all we're doing. Now, the number one thing you need to get out of this video is the following phrase. Write up. Whenever you hear the term map coordinates, the thought that should pop into your head is that short order cook saying, coming right up. Write up. Because everything is read on this map right and up. Okay? Now, looking at our map, we're going to get up close in a second. As we've said, to determine that we're on the same thing, we have the same scale map, same name map, same sheet number. Okay? That's way we know we're on the same map. Now, going right and up, we come to this. And this is going to be the information that's the beginning of our coordinates. Okay, now you've got your navigation notepad, a writing instrument, and we're going to go, remember, right and up, right, till we hit this box. And this box will tell us what we need to know to begin writing down coordinates. In the very bottom is the first prefix. This is the grid zone designation. For this map, it's 16 Romeo. So we're going to come over here to our notebook. And we're going to write down 16 Romeo. Now, it says that this map is divided into two sections, EK, Echo Kilo, and FK, Foxtrot Kilo. And the double zero shows the dividing line. When we look along the bottom edge of the map, right there is the double zero. So anything marked on this side of that line is going to be Foxtrot, excuse me, Echo Kilo. And anything on this side is going to be Foxtrot Kilo. Echo Kilo, Foxtrot Kilo. Okay? Now the point that I'm going to reference is this one right here. This little dot on that map right there. That's, let's say, my magic hunting camp that I'm wanting to tell you how to get to. So, it is to the left of the double zero, so it's in checking our map, EK. So it would be 16 Romeo Echo Kilo. Now, reading the map, 
right and up because that dot right there is where I'm wanting to reference. I want to reference this block that it's in. See, that's the dot. So because of that, I need to know the line that touches this and touches this because we're always going to do those and then go right and up. So I need this corner. So going right, I find out that that line is the 98 line. Actually, I should do it from the bottom of the map. So it would be right, 98, up. So I get right there. And the bottom line is 90, excuse me, 77 is this line. So this is the 98, this is the 77. So the first number going right is going to be my 98. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write down 9, 8, skip a space. Now, the line coming across to the bottom of that box is 77. So now having skipped that space, I'm going to write down 77 and have a skip space. Here is that dot that I'm going to, that magic hunting camp we're trying to get. We've read to here and here, and this gave us this box. Now, inside this triangle, which fits perfectly for the bottom and top of the square, it's marked in 100 meter marks. So, from one side to the other, being 10, would be 1,000 meters by 1,000 meters on a 1 to 50,000 scale map. And this one is a 1 to 50,000. So this is simply taking the 1,000 meters and marking it for you. Now, here is my magic camp. I'm going to, starting at the bottom corner, go right until this line is on it. Then I'm going to read this designation here because this is going 1 through 10 this way and this is 1 through 10 that way. So I slide it right until it's on my target right there and I read it. Now, if it's dead on the 8, I would say 8-0. Oh. If it's halfway between the 8 and the 9, I will say 8-5. And if it's but halfway between the eight and the eight and a half, I would say eight three, or the other way, eight seven. So you can divide this. This one shows 8.5. So first set a number. That space, nine eight, and this number is eight five. So I'm gonna write down here eight five. And now I'm going to read up. And that one is 8-5, just by luck, 8-5. So the map coordinate of that little bitty house right there is Steen Romeo Echo Kilo 9885-7785. That's the map coordinate you would give me, and then I would translate it onto my map. Now, let me set the camera back down, and we'll discuss this a little more in depth.